Princess Charlotte and Prince George may face separation under royal travel rule. Before we continue this video, please support this channel by like and subscribe. The royal family adheres to various rules and protocols, including seeking consent for marriage proposals and a strict no-autograph policy. One particular rule, which previously affected Prince William and Prince Harry, is set to impact Prince George and Princess Charlotte. A long-standing royal tradition aimed at protecting the monarchy's lineage mandates that certain family members cannot travel on the same aircraft. Although Prince William currently travels with his three children, this will change as they get older. On Hello Magazine's A Right Royal podcast, Graham Laurie, a former pilot for King Charles, explained the regulation and its implications. When Prince William turned 12 in 1994, he had to start traveling separately from his family. Prince George, who will turn 12 in July next year, will soon face the same rule. Laurie revealed, we flew all four, the prince, the princess, Prince William, and Prince Harry, until Prince William was 12. After that, he had to fly on a separate aircraft, and we could only fly all four together with written permission from Her Majesty. When William turned 12, he flew separately, while the others flew on a different plane. Prince George may have to fly separately from his father to safeguard the line of succession. It is yet to be decided whether he will travel with his mother and siblings or fly solo. This rule aims to protect the future of the monarchy, as any potential crash could destabilize its future. Although rare, plane crashes have tragically claimed the lives of three royal family members, Princess Cecile in 1937, Prince George, Duke of Kent, in 1942, and Prince William of Gloucester in 1972. Additionally, there are other significant travel rules for the royal family. Like his mother before him, the king always travels with a supply of blood and a doctor. Every royal woman must also pack a black dress as a mark of respect, to wear during mourning. This rule was emphasized in 1952 when the queen, upon her father's death while on a royal tour in Kenya, had to have a black dress brought to her plane in London to change into before disembarking.